Hello guys, Keep Right on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, into today's video, sorry, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys a video on uh, Birmingham City's annual wage bill and the current highest earner at Blues in the 23-24 season. So here we go. Now you, you might be thinking this is actually like this is not important news, but I'll tell you why it's important news later down the line. To be fair, um, it just goes on to talk about John Eustace. So here we go. Um, this is the play. These are the players that Blues have brought in this summer transfer winner. Dion Sanderson, Lee Buchanan, Ethan Laird, Christian Bielik, Tyler Roberts, Koji Miyashi, Keshi Anderson, Koji Drama, Emmanuel Ayu. Ali Burke, Jay Stansfield and Sarike Dembele leaving the club. Chong, Bellingham, Colin, Cosgrove, Dean, Deeney, Graham, George Friend, Williams, Nicka Gordon, uh, Jack, Zach Jacob, Jack, yeah, Jacobs. I don't know. I, I don't know what the point of, of him at Blues was, but yeah. Anyway, so here we go. Per estimates, uh, figures from um, Capology. Uh, Birmingham have one of the more modest weekly wages, uh, weekly wage totals in the second tier, with one hundred and ninety-seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-two as their total weekly payroll, which works out and an average as an average of seven thousand and seventy pounds per player over the course of the season. That means that they have an annual payroll of ten point two. Nine four million pounds, an average of three hundred and sixty seven pounds and sixty four and, and six hundred and forty three sorry yearly per player. Albeit, the uh, these figures are an estimate. So who is the Burm who is our highest paid player? Well, as you can tell by the thumbnail, it's Christian Bielik. Christian Bielik is Birmingham City's highest paid player. He earns around twenty thousand pounds per week. His total gross salary per year is set around 1.04 million before tax. Um, we've got some more uh, more high earners as well at the football club. Um, Oliver Burke, Bakuna, Ivan so Ivan Sunich is one of one of our highest earners. Okay, and Neil Leverage, who barely gets a game. Okay, the trio earn weekly wages worth 18,000. Um, to seventeen thousand five hundred. Um, obviously, that's um, nowhere near the uh, wage budgets, the wage budgets of like a Leeds, Southampton, and Leicester City, because of course the parachute payments. Now, Christian Bielik, twenty thousand per week. Does he deserve to be our highest paid player? Now, the thing is with Christian Bielik, I thought he had a brilliant season last season, and he's had a really good season, uh, good season this season, but. He tends to have them games where he just looks a bit off, really, doesn't he? But, you know, he's our, I know it's only FIFA, but he's our highest rated player in FIFA, 72 rated. Obviously, it's not called FIFA now, it's called EAFC. But this is this is why it's important, really, because in the first summer transfer window of TTA, also known as BSHL, we were spending, like, we was giving David Stockdale and the likes of that, 40,000 per week. That just goes to show how clueless the previous owners were. These owners know, these owners actually know how to run a business. I know a football club is not a business, but they know how to run the football club and they know how to, you know, they know how to run a football club financially in the right way without crippling it like the previous owners did. Well, nearly did. I mean, we had to sell players to um, save ourselves, apparently. So um, yeah, do you think I, I I'm I'm a bit surprised it's actually Christian Bielik who's our highest earner. I would I I thought it would have been like a Sarik Dembele, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been keep on on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get 100 likes. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like I said, keep on attacking.